Hey guys, King Gath here to talk about Rise of the Commonwealth and the 3.0 patch for some settlements. If you're just looking for some quick information, check out the quick start video, which I will link in the description. Uh, but in this series, I'm going to go into a lot of detail about how all of the different gameplay systems work that were introduced. And I'll also go into some of the, the background information on how and why things were done the way they were. And I'll talk a little bit about some of the upcoming content that will be released in patches for Rise of the Commonwealth over the next few months. So when some settlements came out, the goal was to make it easier for you to build settlements so that you could enjoy the progression system that makes Bethesda games so great in the settlements themselves so that the system all felt like it matched. So that as you as a character are progressing, your settlements are as well, and you actually get to experience that feeling of rebuilding uh, without having to place every single piece. Now, one of the problems with the plots is that they take up a ton of room, so they're limited in use, and you still have to do a lot of building yourself in order to get a really great looking settlement. So Rise of the Commonwealth is looking to fix a lot of those problems and get it to a point where you could play with, some, with settlements every playthrough without having to invest hundreds of hours. So we've done that through a few methods. One is the introduction of interior plots, which are designed to be used either in your own quickly thrown together structures or to take over some of the buildings that are in the game by default so that it feels like your settlers are quickly moving in and setting up as opposed to having to rebuild entirely new shack cities. The other big feature, the probably the most important one to this, is the fact that you can delegate control of a settlement so that your settlers will build it themselves. Now, you're not completely taken out once you do that. You still get to lead them uh, through various systems. You can either continue to build with them. You can add things to the settlements they build. Uh, or if you're not into building at all, you can donate some of your extra supplies while you're out exploring the Commonwealth uh, so that they can use those to advance as a city. You've also got some new controls. I know a lot of you guys who love the city building experience and the management experience of games like SimCity have asked for um, some new things so that you can feel engaged as a leader in that way. And for that, we've added a maintenance mode, uh, new tax system, uh, and recruitment options so that you can have more control over how these settlements actually run. And then on top of all of that, we wanted it to feel like a city that's actually growing and developing. So there's a dynamic soundscape in place, which will alter the way the background sounds occur based on the types of plots that are being built either by you or your settlers. Uh, and also a visitor system so that new people will appear in your settlements and make them feel like they're actual cities. And to top all of that off, I found some of what I think are the best settlement builders out there, uh, and they built these designs that are absolutely incredible. They're things I could not have possibly done by myself, uh, and they will really give you a feel like the these settlements end up growing into something to rival Diamond City uh, or any of the major cities that are usually built into the Fallout series games. Uh, and with that, I want to thank everybody who's contributed to Sim Settlements. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, Sim Settlements is no longer just King Gath. Uh, there is a huge team behind this. Uh, lots of people contribute, and I want to thank them all because uh, while it's it's uh, me in charge of doing the Code Monkey work and uh, releasing this all to you guys, a lot of the design work, the art, the sound, it's all done by a big team, and they deserve some props as well. Uh, so if you get a chance, check out the credits on the Nexus page uh, and throw out some props to the people who helped make this thing a reality. All right, there are a lot of videos to choose from. Uh, I will be doing these in kind of a sequence, so if you'd like to learn a lot about Sim Settlements uh, and the new features in the expansion, check them all out, or just skip ahead to the ones that you're most interested in uh, and come back to the others later when you've got time. All right, guys, enjoy the mod uh, and enjoy these videos. I hope they teach you guys everything you need to know so you could really enjoy uh, the new version of Sim Settlements.